It's new from Electronic Specialties. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Mike Eilbrock. I'm a technician at Champaign-Urbana Mass Transit District in Illinois. And uh, I've been using Dan's tool now for about a good two years. And uh, all I can say is it's a real great time saver. Um, I've found a lot of problems with this tool that uh, real easy that I would not have found. It would have taken me a lot more time. Uh, and marine pump circuits on Thermal King units where I was checking for voltage at the marine pump I had full system voltage at the connector I load it my voltage goes down to like 1.8 volts so then I check to see if I have a good ground or not the ground uh, is good because the voltage dropped so I knew it was in my positive side so I go up into the back compartment I checked for uh, voltage and uh, at the relay for the marine pump and that's where the problem was. It had dropped. What happened was the, uh, the coil inside the uh, relay had gone bad and it was doing pulling just enough to give me contact to show voltage but not enough to carry current. So seeing we've had problems with computers uh, before in the past without the tool. I've seen some buses, you know, where it, they've kicked our butts. We've had it in the shop for like a couple days, you know. Uh, now with the tool, it's turned into like figuring it out with less within an hour, you know. That's, that's from my past experience. Yeah. You know, it gives you confidence that you know that the circuit is clean, the voltage isn't dropping, which means it can carry current. And if the circuit can carry current, you're good yeah. yeah and if you don't see drop then you don't you don't have to go any further you don't have to get out of ohm meter or do any other baloney you can just say okay check here I load it I'm good I'm done I don't have to do anything else I can just check the component because if the wiring's good and you have a component failure you know it's a component right there it it's process of elimination is it, is it kind of flipped? using true zero volts and ghost voltage I think is a lot better way. If you understand those two concepts that'll help you also in the diagnostic process because you hook up to the connector, the meter's going all over the place, you know right there you have an open and then you can figure out from there on which side the open's in or if you read voltage at the connector you hit the button and if it drops or doesn't drop then you know you know where to go. It just, it's a time saver, it's, it's easy, um, in all the years that I have been a tech now, I would probably say your tool is the most easy thing to pick up and learn how to use. It's, it is easy, it's not hard, I'm an experienced tech, I've been a technician now going on 14 years, so uh, it has my seal of approval bar none. Um, for I've got a whole bunch of examples. I, yeah. I'm just trying to think. The biggest one for time saver was on a, uh, one of our Ford uh, vans, ADA vans, where uh, we had thought that we had had a bad uh, door motor, electric door motor, and uh, I checked it for voltage at one terminal for one direction, had good voltage, loaded it. Then I went to the other direction, I had voltage there, loaded it, voltage dropped, okay? Ended up going back with the wiring harness and I ended up finding a uh, pin inside a cannon plug, just making enough connection to show voltage, but as soon as I load it, it goes away. Um, if I hadn't have found that, I'm thinking we probably would have sent off to get a door motor for it, and I believe that door motor is around the $500 range. So, right there, you know, that saves quite a bit of money right there. You know, manufacturers test procedures. It's ECM safe. You're not going to hurt anything. It makes the testing process really simple. You just go to the connector, load it. If voltage doesn't drop, you're good. And for someone who doesn't have a lot of experience in electrical, I think they can figure out relatively quick if you go at the connector and check for voltage and it doesn't drop, 
then you know you know you're good and, and these buses are what 35 40 feet long you know? yeah this is a 40 foot bus we have buses that are 60 feet long are articulated mm -hmm. oh yeah lots of um my confidence level has gone up a little bit before that i felt pretty confident but the tool has made my life easier and i feel even more confident than i did before i had the tool because i can use that to test that circuit just like that and then I know that my wiring is good and I'm done and then I can pretty much diagnose okay right here it's the component problem right. um, uh, now it's 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 a lot easier for me I still go by the manufacturer and everything but since I've had your leads I've read your book I've done it your way um, I catch things a lot faster now and I always uh, ask myself in my head, like, okay, they're telling me to do this, but this doesn't make sense. Because before I used to do it a little bit like I was a robot, and I was like, okay, do this, 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 and I didn't think about it. But now since I've taken your class and everything, I stop for a second thing, I'm like, wait a minute, no, this, this is stupid, this, this doesn't make sense. This is going to take more time, and I don't want to take a million years on this, I need to get this fixed and I need to get it out the door. And uh, since I've been doing it your way, using the leads, things are a lot easier for me.